Naga Students Federation organized a sit-in dharna outside Raj Bhavan Kohima on Thursday against the December 4 Oting massacre. NSF demands withdrawal of Draconian and Undemocratic Armed Forces Special Powers Act 1958. The farmers' protest, which has been going on for over 15 months against the farm laws, have come to an end. The centre also agrees to drop all police cases against farmers and to compensate families of farmers who lost their lives. One of the ambulances and a police van, part of the convoy carrying the bodies of the Indian Air Force chopper crash victims, met with an accident while on the way from Wellington to Sulur in Tamil Nadu. Seven policemen suffered minor injuries. The central government issues an order to disconnect phone connections of people with more than nine SIM cards. The government will check incidents of financial crimes, pesky calls, automated calls and fraudulent activities. And now the news in detail. The Naga Students Federation has organized a sit-in dharna outside Raj Bhavan in Kohima on Thursday in coordination with the Northeast Students Organization against the December 4 Oting massacre. In the protest, the union demanded the Draconian and Undemocratic Armed Forces Special Powers Act 1958 be repealed. The president of NSF, Kegwan Hu Tep, in his address was anguished that during the time of celebration, the aggressors killed their fellow brethren. The Federation further demanded that the Government of India set up a court-monitored committee to be headed by a retired Supreme Court or High Court judge empowered to conduct an impartial probe into the matter and bring the culprits to justice immediately. Of light and merrymaking until the aggressors have revealed themselves once again unleashing terror and fear in the hearts and minds of the peace-loving citizens of the entire Northeast region, particularly the Naga people in our homeland. Today we are gathered here, utterly shocked, angered, in grief, and in disbelief beyond words at the extrajudicial and mindless act of terrorism committed by the armed forces of the government of India upon the peaceful civilians in Otin village under Moon district, Nagaland. This seat in Dara today has been called in concentrate coordination with the race of the Northeastern states under the aegis of Northeast Students Organization, NISO, to stand in solidarity with the victims of the Otint massacre and to demand for the repeal of the draconian, the devilish, the evil ASPA in the northeastern region. The government of India must immediately stop with its policy of militarization in the northeast region on the pretext of solving the Indo Naga political issue through pity lips servicing. We cannot allow this evil, this draconian law to cause further terror in our land, in our homeland. The life of an innocent civilian is worth not less than that of a gun bearing soldiers. This very act is unconstitutional, draconian in nature, and a mechanism designed to encourage gross human rights Violation by the armed forces acting on behalf of the state and intended to keep the Northeast people subjugated through militarization. The Federation shall not shy away nor be covered down by such an act of terrorism. 
The Northeast students organized a sit-in demonstration on Thursday at Dehuli Pukri in Guwahati from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. against the killing of innocent people by security forces in Oting on December 4. The All Assam Students Union along with the Naga Students Union Guwahati participated in the protest and demanded the repeal of the draconian and undemocratic Armed Forces Special Powers Act 1958. The Astro President Dipankar Kumar Nath and Chief Advisor Samujwal Bhattacharya led the protest, many students wearing traditional shawls and attires took part in the protest and paid solidarity to the innocent victims of Oting firing. Justice. We want justice. Justice, justice. Let's all the 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 justice. Repeal Aspa. Repeal Aspa. We want justice. Justice, justice. As the villagers mourned the death of their brothers of December 4 Oting firing incident, NLTV went down to Oting village and interviewed the village heads about the fateful night and the aftermath of the incident. The villagers cited their side of the story and also asserted that they wanted the draconian and undemocratic Armed Forces Special Powers Act 1958 to be repealed. The elder brother of Langwang Konyak and Thapwang Konyak during the interview alleged that Amit Shah, the union home minister, gave false statement at the parliament at the parliament khabi rukhi bhi ko agar ko ado misha ase get pi nai ikku bina tate jungol ase takal jungol de lukai gena pick up te aha bhai khal no de impose kur gena direct tate mari di Parliament ki ko ise shop misha ase. Tata check push pi nae, ek ko nae chungol ase. Eto oting gusti do shooto ase. Hoy libi eto pritis nekent naga bookte ta paradas in the jungle. Eto bosti lokote ko ase. Atito pura eto hatai tise, eto phangai tise, eto bara amakhan to bisi pia pai gana, kandi gana, an tolerable condition dasa, eto bara jolti, eto nisana, kam to huni bale bi mon nai, sa bale bi mon nai, eto bisi khong dasa, eto bara, eto ap sadu nagalen bara, no is bara, hatai di bolaga, eto yahe bis ahi bo. Itu absat hakabra amakan tu peace tu nai teroris military kiba kibi itu kan he PC increase hoya se because of absa itu bra itu jolti hata bolaga. With different versions of the Oting killings doing rounds on various social media sites, there have been claims of false reports and misinterpretation of the actual reality. To ascertain the facts, Nagaland TV on Thursday visited District Hospital Mon and interacted with the injured and eyewitnesses who were present during the incident that took place on December 4. Ami. आमी तो बुस्ती ब्रा खबर दिसे फोन करिसे मोगे चेयरमैन खानबा भी फोन करिसे आही भी एक बार एसडीपीओ खान भी आही बोलेसे इतो तो अलग माने कथा करबोले आही जाबी को आपरा मय तो ताते जाइसे तो ताते जायना ठका आदम ते खबर पाइसे एनेका एनेका माने आर्मी खान के भी धुरी गिना आसे ना आर्मी खान के भी धुरी गिना आसे डेड बॉडी तो पाइसे कोइ गिना तो जाइसे तो जायना ठका आदम ते ताते मय आर्मी उसोडे पहुचीसे तो आर्मी के मय कइसे अपने खान कुन प्र दिखाएगे ना मारे शे ये तो हुडीसी तहान गया तो तहान कोई शे मुखान मारा नहीं तो तुम खान नमाज ले कुन प्र मारे शे तो फर्स्ट पार्टी मारे शे तो फर्स्ट पार्टी मारा तो मुझे अपने खान के डेड बॉडी इमाना से नॉले पर गाड़ी इमाना से आर्म्स इमाना से हैंडिंग टैगिंग कुरीशे ना ना अपनी तो एसएफ का नशे मोबी इनका है ऐसे 
दूसरा आर्मी तो नहीं कि अपनी हन ला इक्विपमेंट और वेपन्स खान सके आम जाने इत कौन मानू आज इत तो आम शिका बोल भी कम ना हाँ इटा अपनी सीधा सीधा कभी Naga People's Front member Kenya in the Rajya Sabha on Wednesday appealed the center to repeal the Armed Forces Special Powers Act from the northeast and in other regions where it is in force. In view of the killing of 14 civilians in Nagaland, Kenya stated that the ASFA has only led to casualties caused animosity amongst the people for armed forces. Kenya also stated that the past members of the house had voiced fears of the ASFA being misused in view of the impunity for the armed forces. Dimapur Our Youth Organization along with the Cognac Union Dimapur visited the five patients of Oting December 4 incident admitted in referral and faith hospital on Wednesday. The victims of Oting village shot by Indian security forces at Oting village were admitted at different hospitals in Dimapur while four victims are admitted in C I H S R the other was in Faith Hospital meanwhile two amongst them are reported to have undergone operation and are in ICU during their visit Dio prayed for all the patients and wished them speedy recovery Dio affirmed their support and cooperation with the decision taken by Cognac Union to ensure justice to the bereaved and the insured The Cognac Union on Wednesday wrote a letter to the Chief Minister of Nagaland, Nefirio. The letter came after four members of Parliament and others were halted in Jorhat Airport and were not permitted to enter into Mon District by the Nagaland government. The four MPs and other intended to enter Mon to pay homage towards deceased families and to ascertain the facts and evidence of Oting incident. KU further requested Rio to allow the MPs to enter Mon district and appealed Rio to reconsider a letter to, prepare, to prevent further complication and confusion that is escalating among the general public of Mon. Prime Minister Narendra Modi will pay last respects to the Chief of Defence Staff General Bipin Rawat, his wife and 11 other personnel who lost their lives in a chopper crash in Tamil Nadu on Wednesday at around 9 p.m. today. Defence Minister Rajnath Singh, Minister of State for Defence Ajay Bhatt, National Security Advisor Ajit Doval and Services Chiefs would also be present. The mortal remains of CDS and other armed Forces personnel will reach Delhi around 7.40 p.m. today. The Shraddhanjali ceremony is scheduled from 8.30 p.m. onwards. Some of the family members of the personnel killed in the military aircraft crash will also be present. The sources said that the four bodies, including that of General Rawat, his wife and Brigadier LS leader have been positively identified. Chief of Defence Staff General Bipin Rawat, his wife Madhulika Rawat and 11 others who were on board IAF's MI-17 V-5 helicopter died in the crash on Wednesday. The last rites will be held in Delhi on Friday with military honours. A funeral procession will start from Kamraj Murg to Brower Square Crematorium in Delhi Cantonment on Friday. One of the ambulances and a police van, part of the convoy, carrying the bodies of the Indian Air Force chopper crash victims met with an accident while on the way from Wellington to Sulur in Tamil Nadu. Notably, seven policemen suffered minor injuries and they have been shifted to Metupalayam Government Hospital. Furthermore, the bodies in the ambulance were shifted to another ambulance and the vehicles proceeded towards Sulur Air Base.
final moments of a 19-second video has gone viral of the Indian Air Force helicopter that carried General Bipin Rawat and 13 others, which crashed near Kunur in Tamil Nadu on Wednesday. The video shows a group of people walking on a railway track and looking up at the chopper that was flying low seconds after it dis disappeared. From their view, the engine of the chopper went silent, possibly indicating the crash. The farmers' protest, which has been going on for over 15 months against the farm laws, have ended. A legal guarantee of minimum support price have announced that they will end their protest on Saturday and return to their homes. The centre has sent a written draft proposal to SKM's five-member committee following a November 21 letter from SKM to PM Modi listing six demands to which the centre has agreed to form a committee to decide the MSP issue. The centre also agreed to drop all political cases against farmers and to compensate families of farmers who lost their lives. Dipanita Jaiswal, Managing Director of Brahmaputra Tele Productions Private Limited, was honored with the top 50 global inspirational women to look out for in the year 2022 in Dubai on Thursday. She was honored in a gala and awarding event at Palazzo Versace, Dubai, Jadaf Waterfront on December 8. In her acceptance speech, she dedicated her achievements to her fellow Indians and the people of Northeast and also thanked the U Prodigy Global Network for encouraging her to serve humanity better and work towards its positive progress. The BTPPL, Umbrellas and the channels BTY365, Northeast Premier and renowned 24 into 7 satellite news channel Jonak, General Entertainment Channel Nagaland TV. The central government has issued an order to disconnect the phone connections of people with more than nine SIM cards. As per the latest order by the Department of Telecommunications, the officials will first verify the multiple SIMs and in case of non-verification except for one, all numbers will be deactivated. For people staying in Jammu and Kashmir and Northeast, six SIM cards will be re-verified. Notably, the subscribers will be given the option to choose the connection they want to retain and deactivate the rest of the connections. The move has come to check incidents of financial crimes, pesky calls, automated calls and fraudulent activities. That is all for now. Keep watching Nagaland TV for more news and updates.